But you, hey, you're making that kind of money. Why be that stupid? That's what it's stupidity. Right. You know, we all came into this world ignorant. Don't leave this, not leave it there. And ignorance means because we don't know. You're ignorant. Mm. And so you, that's why you have to teach. And the earlier you teach kids of right from wrong, mm -hmm. of good and bad, then you got to hope that they'll go to the, that thing and that they can teach another person. Right. But anyway, that, that, that's basically where I am, Mark. Mm. Uh, I know you didn't expect me to be on this long, I guess. No, it's fine. <laughs> No, that's fine. But I want to, uh, here's one thing I want to definitely expose though. One thing, you know, we got, we got, you mentioned before earlier that, you know, we got this corruption with administration right now. And, and what, what is right, you know, we said what is, what, we used to be, what used to be, uh, what used to be right is now, this is now wrong. I mean, we used to be wrong is now right. So the wrong is right and the right is wrong. How is that possible? Well, it, it's because when, when, what controls the mind, and I think this has been going on uh -huh. for hundreds of years, of course, I, I don't know if it was exactly whether it was Trotsky, Lenin, you know, that, I, I remember a lot of stuff in history, but I may not be having it exactly, they, 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 you know, they, they, they figured the way to, to control people is through the mind. Even Hitler thought the same thing with the education. So... You bring into school systems the books and what you want them to read. That's why with this Common Core, they changed a lot of stuff. It was that there was nothing wrong with the way we had our math system and all the other things. So you, you had to memorize or whatever. Mm -hmm. But what they try to teach them is a different way to try and think. But they're confusing so many kids. That's right. so stressful. Kids have got to come up and learn at their own pace. They could both be eight-year-olds, but if somebody's a little slower, okay. So they got to learn a slower pace. That's the way it is. They want to jam it, and all they're doing is testing, testing, testing. Right. I mean, I'm driving nuts just to take tests. And it doesn't prove anything. Mm -hmm. And it's all because these big companies, and that's where you got... Bill Gates got involved. That guy, Arnie Duncan, is the, over that uh, uh, Department of Education, okay, but it's Secretary of Education. And then you got this group called Pearson. It's P A R S O. I think they're a big group out of England, but they're a big publishing group. Well, now they control. So if they've got Bill Gates is giving all this funding to all these schools, and, and they're bringing in. And to get all these schools to go along the common core. Well, now they tell them, okay, well, these are the kind of books that we want. Okay, so now you got this company, Pearson, so they're publishing, putting the books, and it's a whole new. So again, they're teaching what they want. They're teaching Islam in the schools. Right. And that, that's pitiful. And yet, it's supposed to be in a separation of church and state, okay? And you shouldn't be teaching any. And if you're teaching, it should be just a general thing. Okay, there's, there's Christianity, there's Judaism, there's Islam, etc. You get a little background about it, that's it. You learn. Not to, and then we got people, kids, praying at school. I thought there was supposed to be no praying. And then they mentioned these schools, some of them in, I think it was uh, Colorado, where, they bring, where now they're pledging to the flag without using uh, the word God in the pledge. That's right. That's I'm, correct. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm jumping around, but that's the basic gist. So my whole thinking, Mark, mm -hmm. is again, it's so easy. I can talk and talk and talk and we get the points of people are going to walk away. They, oh, okay. He made some good points. I learned something. But when you got it visually, and you're seeing it with a cartoon cap that I created against smoking for kids called tobacco. And I've become a, uh, a, a what's the word, a, a, a rapper in my old days. And now I think a couple of raps I did. I called the Toe Tapper Rapper. I actually made a big nine foot costume. We haven't been out in the streets yet, but it, it works. But you need other people to help you to attract. 
attract attention. And that we, we created a little music and a rap on learning against no smoking and the diabetes. And hopefully I'll be able to get back into the studio or hopefully somebody will help me up here to get some equipment hooked up so I can record up here a one on against alcohol and against gambling. But I've got so many things that I'd love to be able in a humorous approach. And if, if you save one kid, mm. we've done something. It's harder to get older people to break the habit of uh, smoking, but, but it's still, we're working on it. Right. But if you get kids to never stop, to never use the drugs, you don't have to be something to get high on, to make you feel good. And all we build up in the media is the athlete. The Hollywood movie stars. That's right. And all the other garbage. And the singers and all the other kind of stuff. And they set all the wrong examples. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're doing to Hillary. And now, you see, 